So we're back again, performing for you. It's the Nintendo Direct of 2022. Of September. Um, I don't really have any uh, huge predictions. Other than the things that you'd usually expect, I guess. Um, maybe some Metroid Prime 4 updates, maybe some news on uh, Breath of the Wild 2. I don't think we're getting a release date for Breath of the Wild 2, but maybe. Here's my super big brain, never gonna happen prediction though. ARMS 2, baby! <laughs> yeah, that'll never happen. It's never gonna happen. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I'm most excited to see what new titles get announced, actually. Because, um, we don't know too much about what's on the release slate at the moment, right? Most of the titles that are upcoming for the Switch hardware are already out, or near, about to be out. So we don't know what's their plans beyond the end of this year, so... Yeah, this will be cool. That's what we're looking forward to. Get a drink of water. But uh, yeah, I'm just here for cool game announcements. We might see a Rise trailer as well, to be honest. Capcom likes throwing their Sunbreak marketing everywhere. So maybe we'll see one of those as well. Okay, let me just make sure the audio is alright. That looks about correct. Mm -mm. Yep, okay. Got the audio you right. Live on the continent of Elios. Four realms surrounding a holy land at its center. A thousand years ago, our lands endured a vicious war with the fell dragon. We called I think this upon is... heroes from other worlds to aid us. Heroes known as emblems. With yeah, them, this is a remake of, of uh, fought as one. I think this is that rumored thing, right? They were gonna remake uh, an older Effie game? It sounds vaguely familiar, yeah. I'm not too familiar with Fe, but... It's another Gaiden game, right? Um... Like, sorry, not, not uh, Gaiden. Echoes, right? Or it could be a new game. The graphics look pretty good this time though, right? They're definitely pushing the hardware. Marf! Fire Emblem Engage. Oh, it's a new You're title. Awake. Huh? You're really awake, yeah? A thousand years? That's how long I've been asleep. <laughs> what are those horrible things? If I may, you are a divine. Yeah, I, I, I don't know too much about Effie, but I'm almost certain this is a new character. So I've never seen them before. Fell Dragon. I feel like I can almost remember. But. Marth, right. Sigurd, leave it to me. Looks like it's a big FE crossover game too. Quiet, I know, but it will liven up as we gain allies. <laughs> the time has come. Now, as one emblem, engage. I wonder if Koi. Uh, this probably is Koi Tecmo developing still, right? She asked me to gather all of the rings and bring peace back to Elios. I don't actually know what the chronology is for uh, the Fire Emblem games, also. 
I don't think they all take place in the same timeline, but... Hello, everyone. Hmm. I'm Yoshiaki Koizumi, and I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. What you just saw was the latest installment of the Fire Emblem series, Fire Emblem Engage. Hey, yeah, it's an entirely new title. In addition to the standard version, we'll also be releasing the Fire Emblem Engage. That is some very pretty art. Collectible items. I actually didn't see Koei Tecmo in, in there just now. It was a Nintendo and Intelligent Systems. I wonder if Koei Tecmo was Let's take a look developing at this or not. Batch of headlines. Oh, it takes two to tango. It's take it takes two command a switch. That's cool. Cody and May's relationship is on the rocks, but it gets even tougher when they're turned into dolls. To get their bodies back, they'll brave an onslaught of challenges. Where working together is the only way forward. Team up and cooperate with a friend in this critically acclaimed two-player platforming adventure. Yeah, I heard this game was actually really, really good for a co-op game. Someone by your side. Venture through Never actually got around to being with playing it. There's too many games, man. Every corner. In addition to single system play, the game can also be played on two systems via local wireless or online with a pal via the free friends pass. Oh, help Cody and May buy to you buy one and with two people can play. That's a nice, that's a nice touch, right? It's like the old school download play. It takes two launches on the Nintendo Switch system November four. Cool, cool, cool. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Very cool. The Forbidden Story. Fatal Frame? Huh? They porting it. Wait, this is Fatal Frame one, isn't it? Are they remaking one? Oh no, this After mysteriously this is Mask of the Eclipse. Never mind. Luka Minasuki visits an abandoned hospital in search of her lost. This is what five, I think. Yeah, four was uh, Maiden of Black Water. Use the camera obscura to and this is five. Evil spirits and uncover the memories that were. It's the one. Away. It's the one on Wii U, right? Curse looms near. What ancient rituals will be revealed? Fatal Frame, Mask of the Lunar Eclipse launches for the first time in the West on Nintendo Switch next year. I might be mixing it up. There's a new hero who looks mechanical? Oh, this is for Xenoblade 3. Introducing new hero? Wave 2 of the Xenoblade Chronicles 3 That is an entirely new Xenoblade character. Chronicles 3 game. This is Eno, a new hero. She appears to be uh mechanical. Complete her quest to have her join your party. Expanding your options for the Ponic Champion. Oh. Hmm. Challenge battles will also be Oh, challenge battles are odd there. Already battles against top enemies. When's this coming out? <laughs> got to go. I got to finish the game, man. Challenge even stronger enemies to earn valuable accessories and special outfits. Ah, there they are. I mean, not surprising. More Increased damage ratio by two six five percent point. Whoa, that was. Wave two of the Xenoblade Chronicles three expansion pass launches on Nintendo Switch October thirteenth. A month from now. Okay, we've got some time. I'm definitely on track to finish before then. Get drawn that was a these Nintendo Switch that games. was a really powerful hero order. Radical nonsense begins when SpongeBob and Patrick make a wish that unravels the very fabric of the universe. In this 3D platform, see the, the adventure, power creeping of power creeping of DLC blades already. World, <laughs> like DLC blades. Forest, and wild I mean, uh, DLC uh, heroes. All sorts of wacky moves. Don over 30 fantastic cosmic costumes and meet your favorite bikini bottom residents from the TV series, voiced by their original actors. That's it. Soak up SpongeBob SquarePants, the Cosmic Shake, launching on Nintendo Switch next year. You're already. Oh, wait, that, that's this is the Hokuto no Ken. With familiar characters from oh, <laughs> I thought it was that Hokuto no Ken game that came off of PS4. Or was it PS3? I don't know. This is very, this is very funny. <laughs> I can't believe Fitness Boxing got this license. I guess I did well enough in Japan to to get the license. <laughs> you know what? This is very well. This fits very well. You get you get to make all the funny noises while you do it. 
This ain't your uncle's dodgeball. Throw whatever you can at opponents in this hilariously hard-hitting party game. Embrace the absurdity of frantic minigames, each one featuring ridiculous rules in Madcap Arena. This looks kind of fun. Not gonna lie. With hundreds of accessories. Could be fun for a couch party game. The rest of my family gets to use my Switch every now and then too, you know. Oddballers launches on Nintendo Switch early next year. I'll keep an eye out. Yo, Tunic! Tunic's getting ported to the Switch. I don't know if this was announced before or not. Yeah, there's no length. It's a really cool concept, right? A game where, like, you don't know anything about the language in the game and you can figure it out as you go. You get more text as you, like, figure out more things. lost secrets will the island reveal? Tunic launches on the Nintendo Switch system September 27th. Very cool, very cool. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. New Intel has arrived for these Front Mission remakes. Mm -hmm. Full remakes of two Front Mission games are storming in. In Front Mission 1 remake, you'll pilot giant machines called Bonzers in tactical turn Yeah, I think I said this the last time round, but like, Screen is really bringing all your old classic stuff over to modern systems. It's really nice. You can also test your metal at the Coliseum. Continue the battle in the sequel, previously unreleased outside of Japan. Take advantage of additional features. Like I've obviously like never played most of these old games, but I've heard of them, at least tangentially. From the first game. Like Live Alive, for example. That was a really good Switch remake. I haven't even November. finished it yet. Because Xenoblade 2, two Xenoblade 3 came out and took all my time. Next year. And in the future, a remake of Front Mission wow, they're, also on they're very Switch. confident. They're gonna re Are they remaking all of them? That's cool. That's very cool. It's a wonderful life for a new generation. This uh, story of seasons. After nearly 20 years, a beloved farming experience yeah. is reborn. Welcome back to Forgotten Valley. Here, you'll manage a farm passed down to you by your father. Restore and expand your farm as you nurture crops. Care for your friendly animals and help the land flourish. Befriend the townsfolk while you're out and about in the valley. You might even meet your future partner and start a family. In this installment, those around you will grow older as time goes on. Their appearances will change over the years. Your child will also choose their career based on how you raise them. An especially wonderful farm life in Forgotten Valley lies ahead. Story of Seasons, a wonderful life launches on Nintendo Switch, summer 2023. Sky Tree News? Okay. Yeah, I figured it would actually, they would get at least one section here. Although I don't know if they're announced, I don't know what they'll be announcing. Oh, Splatfest? Okay, just a just a quick Splatfest announcement. The first post-launch Splatfest for Splatoon 3 has been confirmed. I'm down. All right, what's the theme? What would you bring to a deserted island? Oh. Here, grub, or fun? Hmm. Good question. It, it depends on if you're being there, like you deserted island there just for leisure, or if you're there be and you're trying to survive, you know? Right. You know, I think I'm probably Team Gear. I'm doing Team Gear. <laughs> These are some funny dancers, man. They're turning into Fortnite, that's what's going on. What did you think? What would you bring to a deserted island? I'm three days in, man. I'm still grinding. Already decided. I hope you'll all participate as well. Next, please take a look at this. Thanks. 
It's Octopath, right? Oh, a sequel? Introducing a brand new game in the Octopath Traveler series. Nice. I still need to play Octopath a 1. <laughs> travelers embark on a journey through the land of Celestia. More HD 2D is always nice, you know. Conflict. They're doing super well with this art style. I'm going to become a star and bring smiles to people's faces, just like Mama. I'm hitting the road. I'll be back once I eliminate. After like playing some of my Live Alive, uh, I can definitely see the influence to it, right? The multiple heroes and all that. Not again. Not the stench. The stench of blood. <laughs> Doubt is what I do. Leave the hunting to me. You'll have all the tasty meat you want. I need to rediscover who I am. Explore a wide world set in a bustling era. So many RPGs, man. <laughs> I can't get through all of them in time. Our Lord knows well the ways of the world. What will happen when their paths intertwine? What's that big realm? Let's go tell him else. And what adventures await them in this new world? I think I found the source. The eight travelers each have their own story to tell. Where will their journeys lead them? And you. Octopath Traveler 2 launches on Nintendo Switch February 24, 2023. I'll keep an eye out for that one too. What you just saw I'm gonna have to work my way through all these RPGs though. I might hold off until I play Octopath 1. Please look forward to the journeys of eight new heroes. And Screenix is working overtime though, man. I mean they have a lot of sub studios still, but they have a lot of sub studios, but still. A magical home is waiting for you. Welcome to your new fairy tale life in Fay Farm. Cultivate your home. I think I saw this on PC as well. Everlasting friendships in this farm simulation I think a lot of people are probably gonna make a lot of jokes about. Discover There's a lot of farming sims on Switch to recently crops. too. Face you know, against Story of Seasons, Harvestella. Oh, this one's more of a Rune Factory vibe, by the looks of it. Along the way, you'll befriend a lively cast of characters who call this island their home. Tend and grow your fairy tale farmstead solo or together with up to four players in local or online multiplayer. Multiplayer stuff is probably going to be the setting point for this. You'll be able to customize your home and enjoy this mesmerizing adventure even more. As the seasons change, new spellbinding surprises can be unlocked that'll help you restore Azoria to its natural splendor. Magic awaits in Fay Farm. Launching exclusively on Nintendo Switch, Spring 2023. I guess I was mistaken then, it wasn't on PC. It's a <gasps> Death Rhythm! From the past. Death Rhythm, Death Rhythm, Death Rhythm! Celebrate the 35th anniversary I'm getting this. Of Final Fantasy series with the latest theater rhythm game. I hope they fix the Feature timing though. <laughs> like one winged angel. Advent on Winged Angel. From the heavens. I'm getting this though. Suteki Dane and more. You know what, they, at least they fixed. I went back to look at some old Death Rhythm videos and man, their syncing was really bad. But Melody of Memory seems to have okay timing sync, so you know. Two players locally can complete stages in pair style, while up to four players can battle to the beat in online multi-battle. Theater Rhythm Final Bar Line begins its symphony on the Nintendo Switch system February 16th, 2020. Okay, we got a bit of time for that before that comes out. On Nintendo eShop. After the game's launch, pay DLC songs from the Saga series. Near series. That is a lot of good stuff, man. Octopath Traveler. Live Alive and more will be released. That's yeah, some of this stuff was old DLC stuff already, right? The Live, the live Alive stuff was... Editions containing a season pass and 27 extra songs, including Melodies of Life, will be available. All right, more rhythm games are always nice. Adventure is just around the corner. Blast off on an adventure of galactic proportions with Mario and the Rabbids. Let's dive into exploration. 
freely roam through all sorts of wondrous worlds, each one jam-packed with discoveries. Find coins. Unlock hidden paths. And how oh. about the locals with their troubles? You've got a whole ass... I mean, it's not really a platformer, but you've got like a whole... 3D area the shops, they can run around in. Items that'll come in handy during battles. That's After nice. Each quest or battle, this game actually looks like, yeah, it's very ambitious, isn't it? Like I'm surprisingly so. Sparks are here to lend a helping hand. Recruit up to 30 different sparks, each with their own special powers and skills. They can help spark a decisive victory. <laughs> can Mario and the Rabbits put an end to the darkness? Mario Plus Rabbit Sparks of Hope launches on Nintendo Switch October 20th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. A Gold Edition can also be pre-ordered, containing the base game, weapon skins, and a season pass. Restore peace between humans and monsters. This is Rune Factory, Rune Factory yeah. returns on Nintendo yeah. Switch. Tree special. They're porting old ones, huh? To chat with the locals, cultivate crops. <laughs> there it is again. <laughs> Man, this Ninten this Switch Direct has a lot of farming sims. You can also transform. I don't have an issue with that. Obviously, but you know, I mean, it's Rune Factory, right? It's a classic. Your choices will also cause different events to occur. Plus, a brand new mode has been added to help you enjoy more quality time with your in-game spouse. Rune Factory 3 Special launches on Nintendo Switch next year. I'm not really familiar with all the Rune Factory stuff. New, new, new Rune Factory 6? Rune Factory 6? Plus, a new Rune Factory series will launch in the future. Okay. They're working on it. More yeah. I'm guessing Tree must be the one that everybody loves, which is why it's getting ported. Mario Party. Mario Party 2. Hmm. That Mario is tempting. Wow. All the N64 Mario parties? Pokemon Stadium. <laughs> That's an interesting choice. This is really more of a novelty. The stadium games are more of a novelty than anything at this point, I guess. Excite Bike 64. These games will gradually be added in the future. You can play a selection of Nintendo 64 games and enjoy many more gaming benefits with an active Nintendo Switch Online Plus expansion pack membership. Oh, and there's one more game we should mention. If they're making a big deal about it, it's probably Smash Bros, right? Oh, no, it's not. It's uh, GoldenEye. Okay, yeah, that would have been my second guess, to be honest. That's cool they got the license, right? Because technically this is a rare game. Yeah. With online play. <laughs> unfortunately, the, unfortunately, the 64 emulator is delay-based, I'm almost certain. On the newly discovered continent of Antoesia in this immersive RPG. Perform over 100 I think I, yeah, I heard about this as well. This was, uh, this was an Apple Arcade exclusive. Yeah, yeah, I remember now. This was an Apple Arcade exclusive. You can't even get the app by its own separately. I guess they're finally moving it to another platform where people can play it. You know? Oh, is it... Actually, I, I don't know. Is it a paid title? I would imagine it's a paid title. Oh, Factorio. Cool. In this management sim game. But yeah, very, like, it's a very weird name title, yeah. But that game was an Apple Arcade exclusive. So I wonder if they're going to make it... It's probably going to be a paid title, right? Because you did have to subscribe to Apple Arcade to access those stuff. So keep them at bay. I wonder if that means those other that games totally that uh, Sakaguchi worked on for Apple and Android are going to make it to another platform elsewhere. Ib! This is, an art museum this is the Ib remake, right? Yeah, this is the Ib remake. She it's the new updated version. By the that's good, that's cool. Until one we played this recently last year.
Will she be able to safely return? Things still holds up pretty well, yeah. Every decision I think, affects yeah, that's some new stuff there. Ib. They've been updating. Launching on Nintendo Switch, Spring 2023. That's really cool that they brought it to Ib. Uh, uh, it's really cool that they brought it to Switch, and it's actually getting a little highlight section on the Nintendo Direct. That's very nice. Joining the roster are Pauline, a physical powerhouse with fast movements and strong tackles. Kind of cool they're bringing back Pauline back into the spotlight, huh? Speedster with dazzling techniques and high pass accuracy. Plus, more gear and another stadium are being added. The second free update launches this month. The final summer begins. This is uh, Atalia. It's the third, the new one, right? There's a new one. I think they were working on a new one. Third one in the Ryza series, right? Yep. Ryza tree. Set sail to investigate in order to protect their homeland from impending danger. Sprawling landscapes set the stage for your adventure. Freely explore this vast world and forge your own path in this charming art. It's funny that everybody remembers Ryza now just because of the main character's design. From all walks of life will join your party. During battle, work with your allies to activate various skills, which can be swapped out when needed. Teamwork is paramount after all. New features are also in store. The keys to this lively adventure are in your hands. Atelier Ryza 3, Alchemist of the End and the Secret Key launches on the Nintendo Switch system February 24th, 2023. Wave three is on the Okay, way. here we go. Here's a sneak peek at two courses racing into Oh, we're only getting sneak peek of two Mary of them? From Mario Kart okay, I never played tour, so I won't know this one. They're only showing two. Why they gotta be a tease? Just show all four. Hey, this is from DS. From yeah. DS. I remember this. It's a fun track. Yeah, the grass garden and everything. Grass garden, wave the hitch wave. The Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass DLC for the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe game launches this holiday. Active Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack members can enjoy this DLC at no additional cost. The DLC can also be purchased on its own. How was that? Next, we have some news to share about Nintendo Switch Sports. This is the golf update, In right? The next yeah. Free update, golf will be hey, that's Singapore back there. <laughs> Every time I see that Marina Bay Sands ass looking building, I'm gonna say, hey, it's Singapore. Of course, you can play these locally. Additionally, up to eight players online can play at the same time on the same course in survival golf. Those with the most strokes will be out. And the, those those who don't do well enough will die. Would release this fall. It's survival However, golf. Like a bit more time for development, so the update is now planned for this holiday. Fair enough. Please wait just a little longer. You know, I need to go and play Next, football with with the foot strap at some point. Mr. Miyamoto. Hello, it's been a oh. while. I'm Shigeru Miyamoto. He is either here to announce stuff about the Mario movie or a new Please Mario title. First, as you may have heard, the Super Mario Brothers animated movie we're developing with Chris Melodandri from Illumination will release next spring. And Super Nintendo World, which is entering its second year at Universal Studios Japan, will also open in Hollywood, California in the US. Recently, we've been working on the finishing touches for both. Today, I'd like to talk a little bit about Pikmin. Oh. He's not actually. He's, actually, he's not actually here to talk about Mario. Working on the series. This is Pikmin Bloom. It's a smart device game we started with Niantic late last year, in which players all over the world are planting flowers. Here's a quick rundown of the game for those who have yet to play it. I guess it is reminding people that Pikmin Bloom exists. Pikmin Bloom is a smart device game that uses your location. By walking outside, you can find Pikmin, raise them, and plant flowers together. 
All you need to do is take it with you on your daily walks or outings. You can look back at the end of the day and see where you walked. Send out Pikmin and collect the items they found that day. And feed them nectar to increase their petals. So, how many steps did we take today? While you're out and about, you can also use the AR feature to take photos with Pikmin. It's an interesting Pikmin history behind that too, because Pikmin were used for Let's 3D demo movies on the 3DS. I have nearly 700 Pikmin. They love nectar. Huh, Miyamoto's just here to do a deep dive on Pikmin Bloom, because, hey! Hey Nintendo, we at Niantic over here. Could you do us a little solid and advertise the game a little bit? People don't remember it, you know. All they, all they think we make is Pokemon Go. We've made a whole bunch of AR games since. Please help us advertise a little bit. I think that's what happened. <laughs> you know what? That's fair enough, right? I occasionally go to Tokyo as well. You'll say to yourself, okay, this time I'll try walking here. It makes trips and walks a lot of fun. It's a very I'm very I'm place certain some other people are gonna be I hope you'll try less out. uh okay that's harsh about it <laughs> yeah there you Please go take a look at this all right show me Pikmin 4 or is it five I think it's four right I've lost track I'm sorry <laughs> I don't keep up with Pikmin very much Okay, it was four. Yeah, three was the last one they made for... Was it Wii U? I think so. 2023. Not... Oh, no gameplay? They don't have anything ready yet. That's right. Pikmin 4 will launch in 2023. He sneakily changed his shirt. Today. However, you'll be able to play like this. From the Pikmin's perspective near the ground. I also made a new t-shirt. Nintendo Switch has made controlling the game simpler, meaning you can further concentrate on the core essence of Pikmin gameplay. We call it Dandori in Japanese, or strategically planning, deploying, and commanding the Pikmin. I hope you're all looking forward to Pikmin 4. Thank you, Mr. Koizumi. Thank you very much, Mr. Miyamoto. Now, let's move on to some more headlines. Take your dancing game to the next level. This was said would be so forward. As well, right? So we're totally gonna get copyright. Copyrighted. Getting copyrighted. This is a licensed song, we're getting copyrighted. I'm I'm muting this. Just in case. <laughs> Sorry chat. The MCA City, this is what this is. I might actually get this for the family as well, I don't know. Although I'll probably be able to get, I don't know, is it on PC? Okay, we're back. November 22nd. Can you survive the season of death? Harvest Ella, more, more Harvest Ella news? Okay. As you cultivate I'm actually interested in this game. Life in the village of Lethe. In B4, the more farming sims! They announced this last. Returns, they announced this on the last direct. To destroy all. The third party one. Travel the world and find a way to it looks like they improved the, the performance a bit, yeah. This life simulation RPG. Along the way, Allies with different motives will join your cause. While facing numerous dangers, you'll begin to uncover the truth of this ill-fated world. After this presentation, a demo containing the opening days of your farm's first season oh. will be available on Nintendo eShop. Save data can be transferred to the full game once purchased. 
Harvestella launches hmm. on Nintendo Switch November. I think 4th. I definitely want to check it out. I don't know if we'll stream it, stream it, but I want to check it out. Get ready for a devilishly good time. Yeah, I think everyone expected Bayo to show up. After 500 years, Umbra Witch Bayonetta was revived in the present day. In the first Bayonetta game, she clashed with angels to recover her lost memories. And in the second, confronted demons to save her best friend. Now, in this third installment, she'll fight to protect the world from the sudden invasion of man-made bioweapons called homunculi. She's gone from fighting for herself, to fighting for others, to fighting for the world. Those who have overcome their past histories with Bayonetta to fight alongside her include the journalist Luca. And another Umbra witch, Jean. New ally Viola also joins in on the action. A hair raising, demon summoning, globe trotting adventure awaits in Bayonetta 3, launching on Nintendo Switch October 28th. Pre orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. Mm -hmm. It's coming After soon. today's Nintendo Direct, a new trailer delving more into gameplay will launch Ooh. on our official YouTube channel. That looks smooth, yo! A dark fantasy mystery abounds from the creators of Danganronpa. This is a uh, new game. Welcome to the city of perpetual rain. I'm pretty sure. Spike Chun's Many office work? Guess is what Spike Chun's office is busy, busy with. Metropolis. Those who investigate are called master detectives who come from all around the world. I think it's a new title. Yeah, I think it's a new title, unless they announce it somewhere else. Meet Yuma, an amnesiac detective. And Shinigami, the spirit haunting him after their pact. Shinigami? Dive into these unsolved cases as a trainee at the detective agency. Thoroughly inspect each crime scene to gather clues and evidence. You know, this is actually... When you're ready, Shinigami will conjure a realm tying the crime scene to the truth. A mystery labyrinth. This is very and wacky and over the top. And manifestations of but mysteries to this actually feels to like it might scratch events. the Ace Attorney edge. However, right? mystery phantoms will attempt to hinder your progress during each case. Avoid their barrage of falsehoods and slash through contradictions. Uncover this the definitely feels like it will scratch the Ace Attorney itch. Rain code launching first on the Nintendo then again, everyone tells me Danganronpa went too, so maybe I should get Danganronpa and try and play through those. <laughs> Enter the village if you dare. Is this a cloud version of 8? Yeah. The latest installment in the Resident Evil series is coming to Nintendo Switch. Probably more popular version. in Japan than other parts of the world, but okay. Ethan Winters must face the horrors of the village and its four fearsome lords to rescue his abducted daughter. It is also in VR. Resident Evil Village on PS5. On Capcom Nintendo is definitely Switch pushing October Village 28th. a lot. You can download and try out the free demo today on Nintendo eShop to pre-order the full game. The Winter's Expansion DLC containing Yeah, if anyone is wondering why they are still making cloud games will launch Japan, December 2nd. that's why. Additionally, three other recent entries in the Resident Evil series will be available as cloud versions on Nintendo Yeah, Switch I guess it's the best they can do, year. right? This actually means that if you have if you have a Switch, you have most of the Resident Evil's library, the recent re Resident Evil library accessible. It's an action-packed lineup of Nintendo Switch games. Vanquish foes to avenge your father. Oh, this Kung Fu action Sifu getting ported to Switch. That's By nice. Trusting, tripping, and parrying opponents. You'll break their stance and gain the upper hand. Fall in combat and you'll get older and weaker. In turn, however, you'll learn new techniques to complete your mission. Can you exact revenge before your time runs out? Sifu pummels its way onto Nintendo Switch November 8th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. 
experience the events leading up to final yeah, we seven in this exhilarating action Christ, RPG. Uh, core reunion being on switch makes sense soldier right Actually, I, I forget if they announced it for switch already wait they did they did yeah he investigates strange disappearances within his elite unit he did this Almost remaster certain. features enhanced HD graphics, an updated combat system, and new soundtrack arrangements. Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII Reunion launches on Nintendo Real question Switch is, where is Ever Crisis? The classic arcade Yo, Radiant Silver Gun? <laughs> Yo! Fire different types of weapons a lot of a lot of shmups have been on enemies. Switch lately, actually, now that I realize. Defeat multiple enemies of the same color for Ikaruga. a or take down differently colored ones for a secret bonus. I forget what was the other ones. <laughs> but Rack yeah. up these bonuses for a high score. Radiant Silver Gun launches on Nintendo Switch later today. This is a classic shmup, Recruit man. A team of shipwrecked heroes and make your way out of a derelict space station in this roguelike game set in the endless universe. But it's not as easy as it sounds. You'll have to fend off continuous waves of monsters as you make your way through procedurally generated levels. Complete various quests to unlock new heroes, weapons, station areas, and more. Up to three players in online co-op can attempt to escape their grim fate. Do you have what it takes? Endless Dungeon launches on Nintendo Switch next year. The journey of world regeneration. Wow, it's, it's been 40 anew. minutes to still going. Remaster of Tales of Symphonia is coming to Nintendo Switch. Wait, the is this? The world of Silverant is controlled by shadowy forces called Desire. Is this coming to anything else? To stop them, I, I didn't know they were working on a Tales of Symphonia remake. The Tower of what are they making? Really Did they announce this beforehand? Lloyd soon embarks on hmm. a journey with Colette. The current chosen one I would imagine this is coming to all modern consoles as well. RPG. They'll meet allies along the way, like the wandering aristocrat, Zellos, and a lumberjack who lost her emotions after an experiment, Prisea. Other allies will also join the party. The fate of two interconnected worlds. No, this already exists. Right. Tales of Symphonia Remastered begins its journey on Nintendo Switch. Yeah, the remaster's been on PS4 and PC as well, so this isn't new. This isn't new. We're getting a highlight view now. Okay. Life is strange. Mm -hmm. Oh! Romancing Saga. I mean, they were working on Saga uh, ports to the Switch, right? I don't know if this is new. I guess they're still working on them. Yeah, Screen is pumping out a ton of stuff lately. I know we keep saying it every year. Uh, every Direct, Screen just throws a whole bunch of like RPGs at the Switch, and it, it's cool. It is very, very cool. I'm just surprised that they can keep tro putting out so many titles. Alright, here's the Maki title. Oh! Yo, this is uh, Return to Dreamland. Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe is coming to Nintendo Switch. Hey, yo! One day, Very cool. Crash lands on Planet Popstar. They also Tell updated the Wii. To yeah, they. It's actually. Yeah. Set off on an adventure. Look at they. They have like new black outlines and stuff. Whip. This is a really good game. I, I've never actually gotten around the chance of playing it too, but that's cool. Wait. Blast foes from a distance. Tell, tell me we're cool. also getting Robobot. Please, with tell me, please can we get well. a Robobot? The game supports local play for up to four players on the same system. Plus, everyone can play as Kirby while using their favorite <laughs> That's copy nice. abilities. I don't, could, could you do that in Origin Return to Dreamland? There's also a collection of sub-games to play. This includes the new sub-game Magalore's Tome Trackers. Well, I guess Robobot would be harder to work on because like it's, uh, it's a 3DS game. All sub -games can be played with so I have to, to like, players. readjust some of that stuff. But, you know, Robobot is a really good... It's the one everyone loves to, so... An adventure of deluxe proportions awaits. 
Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe Thanks, launches on okay. the Nintendo Switch right system February 24th, 2023. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. I guess that means they're done the with uh, 30th anniversary. A remake of Kirby's Return to Dreamland. Oh uh, yeah, it's still it's still the anniversary no one. We though. hope you're yeah. looking forward to this game. Thank you for watching today's Nintendo Direct. This next trailer will be our last announcement. All right, here's the Please take a look. Okay, final stuff. If they're saving things to the end, it uh, it's either a new title or it's Breath of the Wild news. It's Breath of the Wild news. Fair enough. I wonder if that means we'll be getting a release date. I guessed no. I assumed it was going to be delayed a little further because they just they don't have a release date. But maybe they're going to commit to one now. Which reminds me, I need to play Breath of the Wild 1. <laughs> I have a lot to do. Maybe we'll get the title. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna guess. We'll get the title. We won't get the release date, but we'll get the title. Tears of the Kingdom. There we go. We've got an official title. Very short preview. Oh, we do have a release date. It's next year's it's next year in December. Okay. Yeah, you know, I kinda I wasn't expecting it anytime soon. You know, it was gonna it's gonna be a ways off. Wait, no no no. That was month day. Month day is no twelfth May, not 5th December, okay. That's actually sooner than I expected, huh. I guess they're getting close to it. Which probably means we're gonna get a proper, more in-depth look at it at whatever the next Nintendo Direct's gonna be. I think that's probably what's gonna be it. But, uh, yeah. Pretty cool stuff. Um, new Fire Emblem got announced, new Pikmin got announced, uh... What else got announced? New title-wise. Uh, K Kirby Return to Dreamland Deluxe, that's a, technically a port, but, you know, new new game. 30th anniversary actually makes me think, though, I wonder what else they're gonna do, because they're probably gonna do a little more than that, right? They're not just gonna port Return to Dreamland. Maybe we'll have a different collection or something, maybe we'll have some updates to Forgotten, Wo Forgotten Land or something, I don't know. But yeah, uh, lots of cool stuff to look forward to. Dead Rhythm is probably going to be my... Uh, biggest thing I'm gonna be hyped about uh, come next year, and um, you know updates to Xenoblade Three. Three's been so good, man. Three has been so good. Uh, the DLC pack for that is probably gonna be something I'm gonna look forward to. But we have to finish the damn game first. <laughs> yeah, you know. On the other hand, though, I'm actually kind of glad that they didn't throw too many big scale games at me, cause uh, I'm still working through my backlog. So we'll have a little more breathing room, you know. Unlike uh, RPG Hell last month. But yeah, that was pretty good. Um, I wonder why they're still hiding the other two tracks on the Mario Kart wave. Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much all I got for today. Um, yeah, I'll catch you guys around soon. Have a good one.